Hey y'all, uh, here with a, another NASSP video. Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install uh, NASSP uh, properly. So I already tried uh, recording uh, this tutorial uh, a few times now. Um, for some odd reason, my um, uh, PC isn't really uh, that fast when it comes to uh, extracting things, so I'm going to leave, uh, show you guys how to uh, properly uh, extract these uh, files um, without uh, extracting them. So hit um, extract all, go to browse, now you want to find your uh, file, so this is a little, a, um, <laughs> little tricky apparently, can I speak? today but uh, anyways so you want to find your orbiter 2016 file so usually when you install uh, orbiter for the first time it's going to be orbiter 2016 something along that line so I renamed mine so apparently this is uh, a copy of one so I gotta rename that so you want to hit that file as you can see it brings up to the um, Search folder, and you want to hit extract file. Uh, select file. Now you want to um, make sure you got everything down, um, and you want to hit extract. I won't because it will take too long, and I only already have everything uh, installed, so I'm going to hit cancel. And uh, this is the uh, eight point oh. Uh, what should I call it? Uh, version of NASA. Uh, you want to make sure you get the uh, source code. And I think oh, I got it pulled up. Yeah, you want to make sure you get the base and the source code um, both um, extract, um, downloaded and extracted. So I'm just going to delete these files because we didn't need them. Uh, go to your 2016 Orbiter uh, file. And this would just bring up your uh, traditional or, or already uh, installed files. So you want to go down to the list. Uh, you want, I have it as Orbiter 2016 NG file. So if you don't have the uh, D9 uh, file, I think that's what it's called, that in, uh, enhances the uh, visual. Um, you just want to hit your normal uh, application. Um, but if you have the uh, visual stuff like I do, you want to hit NG. And uh, kind of brings you up to speed of um, you have your um, current state. I have my current state. You might not have anything. I have no idea. But um, my current state, I have um, loaded in. So you want to go to uh, down to modules, and you you, you can see all these uh, checked in uh, modules. So you're probably going to have miscellaneous unchecked uh, Apollo RTC D uh, MFD unchecked. So you want to make sure that you got that checked. Um, if you have Orbiter Sound, you want to make sure that's checked. Um, um, let's see, uh, that's it. The uh, Project uh, Apollo, you want to make sure that's uh, checked burnt, or else you won't have your checklist and everything you need for the um, flight sim. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, the uh, D3, uh, D9 uh, client, that's why I got it. And um, that's why I got it run out of NG. So if you're pretty new to this, um, oh, we got extras. Uh, go to extras, uh, go to project Apollo, uh, Apollo under uh, visual uh, configuration, so I'll double click that. 
It reads if a uh, visual. So I have my uh, high resolution uh, single continuous panel. That's what I have. If you have multiple, I mean, it's whatever you want. I prefer the uh, single uh, continuous panel. So CM, CSM, and uh, GN. Or equipment bay panel. Um, I have make sure this is a multiple split uh, panel. Uh, FDAI. Um, you can have this uh, disable. You can go off of your uh, which one call it. Uh, I just always put it as a smooth uh, scrolling. That's how I always have it. So get out of that. Go to uh, scenarios and. Let's pull up on the missions. Make sure you got everything installed. If you do not have everything installed, it will tell you once you uh, load it into your um your, your uh, scenario. So I'm gonna see what's new because sometimes if you change stuff. I'm gonna choose a bottle light, for example. Um, let's do the uh, TLI just before TLI. Actually, no. We choose this one just for the heck of it. If anyone knows uh, anything about this, please let me know. Um, I'm trying to increase um, my PC's uh, capabilities. I really do uh, apologize for this uh, lag on my PC. I really got to do something to uh, increase the um, RAM. As you can tell, I'm very tired. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. I think it's 1 o'clock. 1.21 a.m. for me. For a CST. Oh. And we are uh, getting into the flight simulator. This just in. <laughs> but anyways, I'm very tired, as you can tell. And this just makes us uh, into the uh, flight simulator. Do you have anything uh, installed properly? Just, uh, I can't go through it. Uh, the MFD, for example, I'm just going to go through this just to, to show you um, what I do to So, when it comes to these, I want to make sure um, we're uh, I just want to go through all the uh, NFTs as possible, so I'm going to watch it, 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 I'm going to bring up these scenarios that they have been installed, uh, usually goes back to the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, I think that's pretty much it. I 